Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Pokemon Uranium Nuzlocke. Uh, so we really haven't moved anywhere since last time. Been, in the, been at the exact same spot. So we just finished the gym. Um, and we're allowed to use Surf, but we haven't found Surf yet. So I'm hoping there's an event or something when we leave town here that'll tell us what to do. Interesting. Um... Oh, there we go. Okay. Hey, I beat Sheldon. He was easy. Looks like you already cleared this place out. Whatever. I'll catch up. Bamble came to see me. He gave me this HM and told me to give the copy to you. But I don't wanna. First, I wanna battle you. Thanks, Theo. Get a neutral hit on that since it's grass flying type. Uh, Violet card. Ooh, dark poison. Yeah, dark poison. Uh, I don't think it has levitate. Pretty sure it still has bloodlust. Alright, Nymphora. Very bug. I guess fire is weakened right now, but. That doesn't matter to Phantom. Phantom's trying to learn Heat Wave. Whoa, what? 95 and 90. Oh, heck. I want that. Huh. And thus, Phantom is even stronger. Uh, Linkite. I. Part Ghost? Possibly part steel? I know I was trying to figure this out in another episode too. Let's try a heat wave on it. Maybe it's dark type. Okay, so not steel. Could just be straight ghost. Hercules. About to get wrecked, son. A brand new Scartress. <coughs> yeah, nice try with the flamethrower, but not gonna do much to me. No, it's not fair. Hmm, whatever. It's not like it's the first time I've lost anyway. Fine, here's Surf. After you left, I stayed in Legend Town. I wanted to help the rangers with evacuating the rest of Venoville. But they told me to get lost. They said they didn't want me getting hurt. Just because I'm little doesn't mean I can't help. My Pokemon are strong and I'm a good trainer. Grown-ups think they're right all the time. Just take the HM and take the shortcut out of the forest. The next town's to the northeast, across the ocean. You can fight the next gym leader. Or don't. I don't care. I'm gonna beat Tico. Bye, Shade. Hey, we got Surf now. Let's teach it to someone. And by someone, I definitely mean Ash. Okay, 90, 100. I mean, I like Bubble Beam just because it hits a lot. And so does Surf, so... We'll get rid of Muddy Water. I don't use it a lot. Okay. 
Okay. Well, let's get across this water now. I know there's fully rogs in this pond. And yeah, tub jaws too. No match for Wraith, though. Well, they get decent EXP. Yeah, so we're supposed to cross over from... I was gonna say Beale Beach, is that true though? Oh, now I forget. We'll take a look at a map here in a minute. Oh no, no, it's over from um, Rushfall. I don't know if Theo just told me that, but if he did, I'm gonna feel stupid. Ice Fang. Who do you think you are? And the berries have grown back. It's been a few days since I've recorded. Well, let's surf across this too. Anything over here? We can just surf every anywhere we want now. Okay. So we technically need to go up. Um, but I think what we should do first is head back to Barol and take the train a few places. Because uh, I don't think there's any trains in East Handor. So if there's anything we want to get on this side now, it's probably a better time to do it. Traveling between East Handor and West Handor is a bit of a pain. At least until... Uh, well, until we get Fly, I guess, and um, the boat that eventually operates from Beale Beach. Which takes you to Venisi, so we probably have to go to Venisi first before we get that boat. Let's buy a couple tickets. Okay. Uh, now talk. I feel like we should do a couple small stops right now. Um, just to kind of get the last few things that we've been maybe missing out on. Uh, so for example, right now we're gonna go get the bike. Because we've had the bike wheel for a while. And the bike would be kind of handy, especially like right now when we're trying to run around, go through roots. It takes forever. Aw oh, man, I remember when we were fighting these guys. Remember that darn hiker right there? Those are the days. Level 12. Yeah, we need a bike repaired. Oh, it looks like you have a bike wheel with you. This is just what I needed to repair this bike. Wait a second. There you go. A brand new bicycle for free. Can't argue with free. To ride on it, just use it from your bag. Or we can register it. 
And now when we go to use things, it'll give us a nice little menu because we have two things registered. And we can ride a bike. Okay, back to the train station. Next stop, Legend Town. What's upstairs here, anyhow? This is a special shot of the Ghost of the Tandor Championship site. Oh. Okay. Uh, I just want to go see if this guy has anything for us. Yes, you won't believe this. It's another invention. It's completely fantastic. Tell me if it works. The power glove. Now we're playing with power. Now go, push boulders for the world. Now go away, I'm busy. But soon, soon I'll have more tools for you. Are you gonna make me wait? Yeah, okay. So we can't get the surfboard yet, but... We did just get the power glove, so we can now get rid of strength from Phantom whenever we get to Venisi Town. Yeah, let's go to Beale Beach. Because at the time of recording, today is Tuesday, which means the department store should have stuff for sale. And I haven't memorized what they sell on what day, but I'm pretty sure one of the days they sell leftovers. Which would be really, really nice to get. Because there's a couple Pokemon I want to put it on, like Ash. Um, Ash would do well with it, Bugger would do well with it. Let's see, Elixir, Jungle Crown, Soda Pop, and Pretty Ribbon. Mm. Kind of lame stuff today. Not even a uh, Megastone day. Okay. Beale Beach is also the area where I wanted to go buy the unidentified fallen object. Um, which is in the casino. Playing Voltorb Flip. I don't remember how much it costs. Should probably go look at that. Uh, let's also check our lucky numbers while we're here. Lottery corner. Three, four, one, one, six. No, no match. Okay. Uh, okay. Nope, not you. Also not you. Nine thousand coins. Ooh. Yeah, so I'm definitely not going to sit around and make you guys watch this, but I definitely do want to get it. So I'll show you one game of Voltorb Flip. Um, if you guys have played this in the actual games, then <clears throat> you might remember how it works, but it's kind of just a game of logic, but also some random luck involved. Um, controls, open memo. Okay. Three, four... Five, so we know that there's nothing else in this area that's worthy, nor this area. Two, three, four, that's five. Uh, three, two is dumb. Two, three. Yeah, and then at this point it's just a game of luck, so. There we go. And there we go. Uh, kind of hard to explain it, but for those of you who remember how it works, uh, the little Voltorb tells you how many Voltorbs there are on the board in that given line or column, that uh, rower column. And it also tells you how many points you're going to rack up for that line, so uh, we'll get a new one going here. Uh, so for example, this left column here has no Voltorbs, so I know I can safely click all of these. And the point of the game is to find all of the multipliers, so anything above times one is what you're looking for. Uh, so now that we got three here in this one, if we look that we, there's two Voltorbs, um, and there's a total of five points, so we know this is three points, uh, and there's two Voltorbs, so you can just kind of minus any two spaces 
The last two spaces have a minimum of one point, so that would be three, four, five. So there's no reason to click any of these spaces. Uh, because they might have Voltorbs and you're not going to get any extra points. So, using this logic we can kind of fill in some of the ones that we don't need. And then you're left with a couple squares normally. Uh, and at this point I just like to do a game of odds. So the rows and columns that have 7 points and 1 Voltorb have a more likely chance of having a multiplier in them. Not always the case. Uh, and these ones are actually both going to have some, so... Yeah, so at this point you're, it gets harder and harder, obviously, as you go up in levels. Also gives you more points, so you're left with scenarios like this where you have a lot of board space left and a lot of points to find, but... Also a lot of Volt Orbs. Three, three, three. Oh. One of these is a three. Has to be you, I guess. Two, three. There we go. So yeah, a little bit of luck involved. Game level four. Oh. And that's 10. Which means that there's three boxes that have threes in them. Six, three, four. It has to be this one. Three, four, five, six, three. There's definitely a Volt Orbs. Actually, that wasn't too bad of a board. So you can see I keep getting more and more coins. That was 216. So if you get up to the higher levels, you can be making almost a thousand coins per game, which is pretty good. It doesn't take you long to get to 9,000 at that point. But of course it gets a lot harder. And depending on how fast you lose, uh, it'll drop you a certain amount of levels. Um, and then you go back to game level 2 or 1 or whatever it may be. Five. Why don't I use this three? Probably you. Nope. Not that one. Okay. So yeah, see, it's gonna drop us to game level four. So not bad, but again, kind of tedious. Uh, probably kind of boring to watch for you guys, so we're gonna skip over this. I will meet back up with you guys once I have enough coins to buy the fallen object. Alright, welcome back. Uh, so, just finished getting a lot of coins. Uh, in fact, at one point I got up to about level 8 on Voltorb Flip, and I got nearly 2,000 coins, so that was pretty nice. Uh, so here we go, we can get our unidentified fallen object. Which, if we go take a look at... Uh, one variety of the mysterious mega stones have S51A hold it and the stone will enable it to mega evolve during battle. So that's neat, uh, but I might have mentioned last time I can't actually use mega evolution yet. You have to get a gym, a certain gym badge first, so not really useful right now, but still need to have, it'll be good to have. Uh, now let's quickly just consult the map here. Because to get over to East Tandor we need to get back to Rushfall Town. Best way to do that, because we either have to go through Comet Cave or Rushfall Tunnel. May as well just go through Rushfall Tunnel, I guess.
Oh, and actually, since we can surf, we can surf on this water now and go get an item that was previously inaccessible. There we go. Oh, two items. TM1 Focus Punch. And Toxic Orb. Hmm. Cool. Come on. Not so many encounters. I mean, I could use a repel, but whatever. We'll be there soon. And besides, you never know when we might find a shiny. According to this run, it seems to happen a lot. Mostly off camera. Is that guy chasing after me? Or is he just walking towards me? That's weird. Okay, now we're spat out back here. Oh, there's the Luna Pop. Finally. I guess we have the bike now, don't we? And then we just head over this way. Okay, onwards to adventure. Wait, is that a Pokeball? Have we missed that every single time? Oh man, sorry about that. Hiya! Who goes there? You're on our turf now. Trespassers beware. Surfing Ninja's gonna take you down. Yep, and welcome to the weird portion of the game where there are surfing ninjas. Ronan and Junin. Oh, I shouldn't have Ash next. Um. Is there anything that hits multiple targets? No, okay. Uh, Ash, let's... Hmm. Bubble Beam? at what point they get part steel type. I don't know if it's Sidene or if it's the last evolution. Let's stop using Aqua Jet though, that'd be great. Must be their last evolution.
Brother, they are strong. You may have won this time, but make no mistake. Our clan will avenge us. Sleep with one eye open. Yeah, so we get ninjas now. That's fun. Um, let's put Bugger up front. Oh, we lost our music too. Hey, new route. New route, new encounter. Fry and I. I have nothing that won't kill it. Okay, well, that was easy. My favorite Pokemon in Ninja Clans. They propel themselves backwards through the water to attack with their sharp tails. Okay, let's go fight you people. Or more Frana. Swimming is a great way to get in shape. Swimmer Penny would like to battle. You guys are all about to get destroyed. Oh, Titanice. There we go. The literal Titanic. Ow, I pulled a muscle. Eep, the wild Pokemon just stole my bikini bottom. Ooh. That's not good. Oh yeah, and these are... The swimming's a little misleading in this game, because your sprite is so far up. Or their sprite seems far up. I don't know. It's a little wonky, but... Tub jaw. I'm gonna braille up. Wait, we, we got rid of Pursuit on Bugger, didn't we? Yeah, because we had to get Skyfall. But I know you have Dark Pulse. I'm trying to get the training in for some of the Pokemon that are going to be harder to train on this route, because it's all water. But lots of things have double typings, thankfully. This water's really cold. Good luck on your journey, trainer. They say there's plenty of fish in the sea, but I can't seem to catch any. Really? It's not hard, buddy. Oh, Kara Realm. A sablo. Just a sablo. We have an escartress now. Get racked with the double weakness to grass. Drat, another one got away. I have no luck with fish or women. It's a really weird thing to just throw out there, but. Okie doke, buddy. You, fight me. Cowabunga, surf's up, dude. Swimmer Claudio. Aw, oh, should have kept Apocalypse out front. Come on, bugger. You can paralyze these things. Tub jaw. Oh, 
Oh, ow. That's a double weakness, isn't it? Dragon and flying? This did like nothing. These are dangerous waters. You want to use Ice Fang on me too? Yep. So note to self, they all have Ice Fang now. You like trucks, so Buddy. It would be really nice to use Bugger, but I don't want to risk it. Uh, water electric type. Could use Ash. Something bit my foot. Be careful, this area is the territory of a ninja clan. They don't take kindly to strangers. Yeah, duly noted. Okay, get you guys healed up. Go fight you! The ocean is so warm and salty, it feels nice. So my Caesar. Spawnery. Oh, that's all he had. Glub, glub, glub. I just like to lay on my back and let the current take me away. And ninja fight. Aya! You are the one who disgraced our brothers. None may defeat our ninja clan in battle. Prepare to be punished. Ninja surfers Jinan and Chunin. More sidings. Um, I don't think they're steel type. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Steel water. Okay, so it is part steel type. Oh, right. You're part psychic type. I forget that. Dig should really hurt ya. You. Steel. Dark Pulse? Oh, of course a reef. 
Rock water. Just side beam it, I guess. Oh yeah, so there's Corsa Reef. The evolution of Corsola, obviously. It's a neat little take on it. I like the whole idea of the whole coral reef. Also, how dare you confuse me. Bugger. Good job. Hey, and the level up. Four health again. This Gaijin is strong. This injustice will not stand. We must tell Boss. Yes, Boss will teach this guy Jin a lesson. You will regret the day you messed with us. Oh goody. I like fighting bosses. Also, we keep losing our music every time. <laughs> oh, shell doll. Nice. Super training tent. Tutor Teru. Specialist training in the HP stat. Oh, yes, please. Bugger. Nice. That was a good one. Fifteen. Let's do one more. Nervous about the ninja, uh, ninja battle, honestly. <laughs> but then again, I guess I do have um, Wraith, so should be all right. Sidene sucks to fight because it's steel water. There's nothing really great against it. Aw, there's a braille up. There's nothing on this island. Okay, here we go. Beyond this, I think we're done this route. Or at least the water part of this route. Ah, yeah. You've made a grave mistake. Now our whole clan is here. Our boss will sink you. Boss Okage is unbeatable. So this guy's in trespasser who dare to surf on our turf. Show him, boss. Do not interrupt. So you are a strong Pokemon trainer, but by now you are weak and tired. My Pokemon are strong, speedy, stealthy. We rule this part of the sea. For the honor of my clan, we punish you. Ninja Boss Hokage would like to battle. Oh, 
five Pokemon too. Excuse you. Uh, water. Fuel. Man, Aqua Tail does damage. Oh, sure, use the Hyper Potion. Not gonna matter. Gives me more health to restore, honestly. Uh, Gyarados. Prepare to get wrecked by a double weakness. Tuba real. I hate to be real, it's really strong. Eh, yeah, Vaporeon. Poor Wraith here is gonna be jacked. But hey, fine by me. You can one-shot everything, that's totally okay. Here we go. Daikatuna. Does not stand a chance. Erk. No. It cannot be. Can the prophecies be true? That one comes who is stronger than I? My ninja honor commands me. I must bow down to your might. Boss. Henceforth, you are Hokage. These waters are yours. I must leave. So I guess you're our boss now. All hail the new Hokage. Hail Ninja Clan. Ninjas away! Hiya! Okay, I am now the leader of all ninjas. Sure. I'll take it. Oh, parodies out. Get your butt out of there. Mascara Island, east of Anisi Town. I think there's an item over here. Yeah. And then there's a guy just up on land there who will heal us. Which is very kind of him. Charge beam. Cool. Hello, I'm a traveling Pokemon doctor. Here, your Pokemon look a bit worn out. Let me patch them up for you. Sweet. Route 13, so this is a different area because we were just on what? Route 12, I think? Yeah. Which means new Pokemon, and there are a ton of new Pokemon in this area. You're lost, I can read it in the cards. Psychic Gerard. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> A psychic type, huh? Nope. Goodbye. Excuse me, sir. I said goodbye. Poor health. What? Trying to learn psychic. Yes, please. I'm gonna get rid of Zen Headbutt just because my attack isn't the greatest. I see, I see. I was identified as a psychic from a very early age. It is a difficult burden to bear. I wanted to become a musician. I mean, there's nothing stopping you from becoming a mu musician.
Okay. New Pokemon hype! And it's a Tanskier. <sighs> There's like duplicates and I'm pretty sure there's Dram? No, what's it called? Uh, the little masking. That's what it's called. I think there's maskings out here. They're kind of rare though. And I find a Tanskier. Don't you dare. Well, we'll catch it. In the wild, Tanskier live in packs. They cooperate with their packmates to hunt for food and care for Tancoon. Hyper Potion. Oh, apparently there's a lot of Tanskier. So close. Good. Move aside, peasant. You're blocking my view. You're standing in the middle of the path. Rich boy, rich. It's a little redundant, don't you think? Come on, Paradiso. Now's not the time. By a mere commoner. You may have won, but my daddy is looking to buy this entire island. When he does, I'll tell him to forbid you from coming back here. Oh, you found me basking in the sunlight. Guess it's time for a battle. Oh, are you an aroma girl? Nah, you're Lady Angelica. I was hoping to destroy your little grass types if you had them. Oh, thank goodness we're faster than it. Because it probably knows Zen Headbutt. Horse a reef. Rock water. Rock water. This is not working out. Oh, Wraith. Rock water. Selkid. Oh, I haven't seen one of these guys in ages. Uh, I think they're maybe just straight water type right now. Their evolution is water fairy. All the stress is bad for my skin. It takes a lot of dedication to get a body this fine. Cool story, bro. Hikers! I love hikers. I come from the mountains up north, looking for strong trainers to challenge. Good, do you have ice types then? Hiker Horton. No, but you do have a steel type. Probably should have used Heat Wave. I uh, guess it doesn't matter. Ouch. Rollout's gonna get you killed. Trust me on that one. Uh, Chipacho. 
It is a fighting poison, I want to say. Oh, I should have brought out Apocalypse, duh. Oh well. Ash trying to learn recover? Are you serious? <laughs> no way. Oh my god. Yeah, we need that. Uh, Drillgan. Dark ground type. So that's what Modrill evolves into. I don't know if we've seen it yet. I've been waylaid. The weather here is nice, but I yearn for the snow and ice of my home. Says the guy with zero ice types. Okay, we're gonna go heal quickly. Oh, there's Spritzy around here. I'm really glad we didn't find one of these guys. Because since we're not getting Mystery Gift and since we're not trading, they're useless. There's Jack Deary's though. Pretty sure this one is fairy fighting. Yeah, so there's a lot of new Pokemon that we're seeing now. Which is fun. Okay, Mr. Dragon Tamer. I'm gonna fight you as soon as I grab these berries. guys learn that. Oh, right. Bugger, obviously. Uh, but I don't think we have any room for it right now. No. So maybe once we go and get rid of Rock Smash. We're almost at Venisi, so. Hey you, which side are you on? The good guys? Is that an option? Spikes. That was a not very effective hit. My god, Phantom. Obviously, you're not on my side. Hrumpf, you might have won, but that was a fluke. I will call you for a rematch. Next time, you won't be so lucky. West Tander has two factions that have been at war for hundreds of years. Oh? Didn't you know that? No? This is never referenced anywhere in the game. Oh, a fire breather. means Phantom's gonna be useless. Hey, wanna see me do a cool trick? I can swallow fire! Sure. Show me, Mr. Pyromaniac. Aw, oh, I should've kept Phantom in. Whatever. Our 
Hercules. Higher ground. Uh, I'll keep Bugger in just because this guy can't do anything to me. Not really. I resist fire and I'm completely immune to the ground. Oh, good old Achilles. It has a really cool mega evolution. Ow, I burned my tongue. Performing fire tricks on the street corner wasn't making enough money, so I became a Pokemon trainer. And now I stand in the middle of nowhere and try to fight anybody who comes through. Which is absolutely no one because I'm in the middle of nowhere. Kinda look like a psychic. Do you see what I see? A child, a child. Also, yes, he was a psychic. Oh, Masking's Illusion. Yeah. Masking's a neat Pokemon. Just like the Zorua uh, and Zoroark, it has Illusion as an ability. I can't believe it. Psychic Pokemon are some of the toughest types to train. You have to earn their respect before they obey orders. More can spears. Someone has lost their Eevee inside the labyrinth, and Tandor police are doing a search. You can't go inside the cave right now. Ooh, let's fight you guys. Uh, actually. Oh, do you want to fight? Ah, looks like a challenging trainer. Ready, Abe? Guess I got a challenge. Cool couple Abe and Gale would like to battle. Gable? Aw, oh, they got bird Pokemon. Really? Not cool, guys. Not cool. Wow, they both miss on Air Slash. <laughs> okay. Uh, just rock smash it. Easy peasy. That is the end of our relationship. What am I doing? I just... Every time I fight people like this, they just break up. Dear God. Okay, you. What are you? You remind me of somebody I saw on TV. Was it me? Doug. With the S51. Well, guess what? I have a giant one. I also thought I had Phantom out front, but I guess not. He must be my second. Uh, Spritzy. Very tight. I mean, it's also weak as heck. I could use anybody. Scientist stuck his butt to send an aromatis. Super effective. Guess I confuse fiction with reality again. I wish all of my favorite fictional characters were real. 
Then we could hang out and I would actually have friends. Yeah. Oh, is this the... Okay. So what was over here then? Nothing? He's shooting. good experience. Oh, you think a little water's gonna stop me? Ha ha. I laugh at your piddly pond. Swagger. Got a lot of useless TMs so far. <laughs> Been a couple good ones, but... An easy city ahead. Hooray! This is Venezi City. I don't know if there are wild encounters or not. Oh, but here comes the dilemma though. Um, so there's two Pokemon that you can catch in Venezi City. One is dark type, maybe just completely dark type with one evolution. And there's another that's a rock flying type that has a cool ability. So I might hold out on catching the dark type. Yeah, you can see it over there. See the little rat? Uh, you can catch those guys. Have you seen the Venezia Opera House? It's one of our biggest landmarks. Have you gone for a ride in a gondola yet? You must try it. Here now, you look like a bright young trainer. I consider myself to be an expert on Tandor myths and legends. Oh, there's a lot of legendaries we can learn about. Okay. Beta Tao. Ah, uh, Beta Tao. That's a well-documented one. Beta Dao is said to be a giant serpent Pokemon that lives at the bottom of a river in East Tandor. Although there are records of it traveling to West Tandor as well. It's supposedly a fire and water type Pokemon. The heat from its scales gives life to the river and makes the waters glow bright at night. Although there are some tales of boats going missing in the night when it gets hungry. Yeah, so you can't catch Beta Dao yet. Lanthan and Acton, twin brothers the rare metal Pokemon. Each are supposedly a hundred thousand- sorry, a thousand years old. Legend has it they crawled out of the Earth's crust and taught man the use of metals. Supposedly another of their kind lives in the Sinnoh region and is known as Heatran. Nowadays they are said to dwell within the volcanoes of Tandor. That's how Mount Actinite got its name. Same with Mount Lanthanite. I've never heard of any Pokemon with that name. In the rain. Um, yeah, so you can catch Actin and Lanthan. But not Beta Dao. This house is full of theater enthusiasts. We all live in Venice because we love the stage. Five years ago, I could never dream of being an actress. They didn't allow women on stage. Something changed that, though. It seems kind of backwards. They used to say that women performing in the opera was indecent. That's no fair. They say the gym leader is also a star in the theater, though I don't know who it is. I saw it. I saw a white bird Pokemon, but then it disappeared. Okay, this is the gym. When you see Opera House and Gym. So Fairy's strong against fighting, dark, and dragon. And resists bug, dark, and fighting. And is immune to dragon. Okay. Here, trainer, I want you to have this TM. Yes! Oh, thank you! Ready for some magic, guys? Once I find it, give me a minute. You see that? That's Paradiso. Learning a fairy type move. Oh, but what do we get rid of? I guess Roost, honestly. Dazzling Gleam. Dark types are never a problem again. Neither are dragons. What's your favorite Pokemon type? Mine is fairy. Thank you, random lady. Can some Tandor Pokemon Mega Evolve? I think it's possible. Blah blah blah, talking about Mega Evolution. Don't fight that thing. 
I'm the Pokemon Move Maniac. I know every single move that Pokemon learned growing up. I'm also a collector of heart scales. Bring me one, blah blah blah. Okay, I don't have one yet, but this guy is the move deleter. So we don't need Bugger with Rock Smash. Okay, and we also don't need Phantom Strength anymore. Let's see if they can learn anything in the meantime. There is infestation. I thought that was physical, though. Uh, Dark Pulse. Can anybody else learn Dark Pulse? No, okay. Gyro Ball, Recycle, Silver Wind. Charge Beam? Bugger could learn Charge Beam. Oh, but we said we wanted Bugger to learn Dragon Claw, didn't we? Yeah. Because he's a physical attacker. Uh, energy Ball. Couldn't Phantom learn this one? No. Okay. Oh, Heat. Snatch. Skill Sword. Oh, Toxic. Right. Uh, let's teach that to Phantom for now. And then Dragon Claw to our good friend Bugger. Let's check it out. Eighty damage. Nice. Yeah, because you are definitely a physical attacker, though. Your special attack's not bad, which is good for Skyfall. Hello, I'm a move tutor. Do you still have Metal Links, Achilles, or Electruxo? Gee, I can teach you an awesome move. Oh okay, yeah, there's the Frenzy Plant, Blast Burn, Hydro Cannons. Lame. Waiting. I'm concerned about the nuclear meltdowns that have been happening around Tandor. Did you hear they had to evacuate Venoville? Two power plants failing so close together. There's no way that's a coincidence. The Venisi Pokemon Gym is the last badge I need in order to compete in the Tandor League. Well, you're strong then. Not fighting you. You can't trust your eyes in the Venisi Gym. It's a regular haul of tricks. Alright, so let's check out the Pokemon that we caught. Oh, have we checked out any of these guys? I don't think we have. It's been a while. Okay. Tika has Vital Spirit. Swift Swim. Oh, Mask has Moxie. That's really nice. You have terrible IVs, oh my god. Well, some of them are good. So Mask is probably good backup, if ever we need one. Uh, cause Moxie's really handy. Say, do you know of a Pokemon called Titanice? I'm searching all over for one. I'll trade you a Gargriff in exchange. Oh, thanks. Oh, is today one of the days we can actually catch this thing? Is it Tuesdays and Fridays, or is it just Fridays? Let's try it! Uh, who do I have in front? You. Uh, nice! Let's get ourselves a Gargriff! Yes, yeah, so this is one of the two Pokémon we can catch here in the city. Might be kind of hard to catch, though. I don't really want to risk killing it. I think it's just straight rock type. So I can probably use ancient power. 
Nope. Not straight rock type. Okay. That's okay though. That's gonna heal itself after this turn. Yeah, so Gargriff has a cool ability that if it doesn't take any damage in a turn, it heals itself at the end of the turn. It's pretty neat. Aw, oh, so close. It's time for another... Ancient power. It's gonna be stronger now. Oh, I can't use the same move twice in a row. Well, fine. Be that way. It just wants to keep using Stealth Rock, honestly. Let's switch out and hit it with something. Uh, I say as I have way too strong of moves. I mean, you probably wouldn't kill it, but you're also part flying type. Oh, freaking stealth rock. Oh, yeah, okay. You do know some rock moves. Oh, thank you. And stealth rock. Do you know anything that can help? Nope. Well, this might just be an RNG battle then in terms of trying to catch it. I keep getting close, so it is possible. Stupid thing knowing Torment. I mean, I guess eventually it'll have to struggle too. It's gonna take a while though. Spend most of their time standing so still that they are often mistaken for statues. They perch on the rooftops of Anisi, guarding it from outside attackers. Straight rock type. Hooray. Everybody gets experience. Oh, let's check it out. 40. Restores HP but not damaged on each turn. Seems to be a split special and physical attacker, so that's cool. Also a really crappy IV in attack, but... Let's finish exploring the little town here. Why would you train any Pokemon besides your starter? What's the point? Maybe because other Pokemon are stronger? My children won't stop playing these video games. I have to force them to play outside. Oh, yeah, I guess in Pokemon Red and Blue, uh, it's really easy just to one-shot everything with your starter. I have the new Pokemon games, Gold and Silver. My friends are all jealous because they don't have a Game Boy Color. Cool story, bro. Darn rats, the city's infested with them. They leave their scribbles all over the walls. 
Tipsy Cancun, Anisi's favorite pub. Care for a drink? Wait a minute, you seem a little too young to be drinking. Want some carrot wine? Don't tell anyone I'm selling you this. Oh, okay. Guess we're fighting. Hey kid, you looking at me funny? I don't take no disrespect from brats like you. Yeah, bring out the tub jaw. Actually, no, don't bring out the tub jaw. Bad idea. Never mind, we have apocalypse. Uh, dark to oh. Smack. So remember how we just learned dazzling gleam? Remember how I said it would be kind of useful? So here we are. Nice, apocalypse leveled up. Sidene. Steel water. Such a crappy combo. Ten ice. Well, we know who can take that down. Beaten by a kid. Ugh, I think I had one too many. So I don't know if these guys are all gonna fight me. I think they might, so. I'm gonna leave that for a minute. We'll go back there later. Doesn't it look like those statues blink sometimes? Yes, kid, we're now aware that they're all Gargriff. Okay, and we've been down here. Ahoy there, I sailed this boat back and forth from Benisi City to Beale Beach City. Yeah, so this is the guy who will sail you back, and then I didn't realize that he fights you at Beale Beach normally. I'd sacrifice anything to see my daughter's eyes open again. Nikki, sweetie, can you hear me? It's no good, she won't wake up, even when I shake her. Sometimes she'll toss and turn and talk in her sleep. I think she's having some kind of dream. If only there's a way to go into that dream and find out why she won't wake up. No, no, I wanted to talk to the kid. No, you can't. Yeah, that's a side quest that they haven't finished yet. Okay, well let's go fight you now because we can. Quick, quick. Wild Ratsy appeared. So yeah, we could have caught this thing or we could have caught Gargriff. And I chose Gargriff. Because they're a lot cooler. Uh, did we ever check out this house? Oh yeah, that was the house I just went into. Durr. Okay, well, we've been recording for over an hour now. Um, sorry that not a lot happened in this episode, I guess. Um, you know, we came to Venisi and all that. We got the move to leader. Uh, and we got surf and got to surf across the water here. But, well, we had some small things to take care of. So it's important that we did that. We got over here, got some new Pokemon. And yeah, now we're in Venisi City. So next time I catch up with you guys, we will finish the Tipsy Tancoon pub and maybe try to take on the gym. So I might go train a few people up first, get them a little bit higher level. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching once again, and we'll see you on the next episode.